Migrants have arrived, but I'm not ready yet. I'll do that one. Ask why there's just a bucket of water there, but I don't think I want to know. Which reminds me, is anybody actually using this ramp anymore? Survey says, oh, one person. Okay, good. All right, our tavern's getting quite, quite full. There's not really an easy way to expand on it without cutting out the textiles industry or something. Oh right, we have a uh, blowgun, a, a Rello Nostin, a thin birch and blowgun, and it's decorated with birch. Fine blue gun. Good job. Uh, why is there a wheelbarrow here? There should not be a wheelbarrow in there. They just keep accidentally leaving it there. Fine.
Well, I never really intended this to be a social layer, so maybe maybe we build something down here for a new tavern. A bigger and more glorious tavern than the first one. Actually, going to go like two or three levels deep with this. Probably autumn. Year 10. sparse. Her very long chin is neatly combed. She has a prominent chin. Her nose is somewhat narrow. Her head is tall. Her nose bridge is somewhat concave. Her hair is charcoal. Her white skin is raw umber and her eyes are aquamarine. Fine work. So what I want to do I want to knock off all these guys. Caravans arrived. They're looking for footwear. Luckily, we actually have footwear for them this time. Bam. Also give you all these socks. Who knew? Um... Probably have other things to bring too. Some gloves, a couple trousers, and yeah, I have some statues too. Hi, 
am the liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. The world is the same as ever. Apparently they're not too happy with us, but you know, fine. Um, bars. We want bars. Uh, we don't want pig iron. We do want electrum. I uh, don't care about steel. We will take brass. We'll take black bronze. Sterling silver. Billet. Yeah, maybe not billet. Nickel silver. Rose gold. Perfect. Rock mugs. You know what? We actually have some rock mugs. So we might be able to accommodate your request. This time. Sneak over here. Throw another... Say 200 mugs. <laughs> we'll make you mugs, buddy. That's what we'll do. Oh, good. Endoc has begun the mysterious construction of the craft store shop. abstractions over practical applications while Endoc has created Storlutisim Imal Anam, a rhesus macaque bone buckler, an opposite to the breath of quests. That's fine. Alright, trade. Uh, yeah, we'll take all that. Uh, we'll take all your logs. Quite a bit. We'll take this display case. A couple of book bindings, sure. Some sheet. Take these crutches and splints just to save me the time of making them. Take this serrated steel disc. Giant bronze axe blade, yeah. Bronze chain leggings, sure. I think this elk leather trousers, yeah. Uh, we'll actually take your other anvils. Chests, gloves.
ecstatic? You should be. I gave you quite a deal. I gave you a deal. All right, let's take a look at that uh, artifact. Dimple works the sense of ages. This is a rhesus macaque bone buckler worth 18,000. It is encrusted with round claystone cabochons and marquees cut pink tourmalines, decorated with llama wool and encircled with bands of briolette cut pink tourmalines and fine pewter. The object menaces with spikes of rhesus macaque bone, donkey bone, and billin. On the item is an image of two diamonds in claystone. Migrants have arrived. Lovely. We don't have enough room for the other ones. All right. He still wants a bronze throne. Do we have the bronze throne still on the list here? No. Bronze throne. We now have enough bronze. Make exactly one bronze throne. after I did it that I didn't specify what to make it out of, but sure, we'll have one made out of iron. It'll give them happy thoughts, right? Alright. Somehow we still have horses. I thought I slaughtered all those. Oh no, because they're up here and I didn't even notice. Durr. Hello, Buttons. Hello. Costco bag of mixed nuts. I hope that's working out for you. Huh. 
I'm not in any rush to build up on the on the surface here. I mean, the plan is eventually to have a dragon come along. I don't really want things on the surface to get burnt to a crisp, you know? All right. Coming up on just shy of four hours. We're gonna go for another little bit.
something tells me I'm going to need some tables and chairs and I spe specifically want nice ones. Oh, I don't actually have that much nice. Mandated the construction of floodgates again. Are we out of cloth? Ten big deals. Process and plans, please. So 
anyways, everybody just loves to, to gather around in here. to make one of these. There you go, buddy. You get a bronze throne in your bedroom. That's not weird at all. <gasps> Excuse me. Alright, I want a stockpile of food which can be prepared meals and drink. Into winter we go. Dining hall. And this will be citizens only. We'll make the one up above into a uh, To a public tavern now. Or do we? I don't know. Maybe we leave this one as a private one too. Uh, I do want to sign a new tavern keeper though. Proficient conversationalist, proficient flatterer. There you go. Say a hundred goblets. Put a couple of chests in here. And hopefully that'll help split some people up. Bill is still our most angry dwarf. Acquire object, be with family, huh? You have no quarters. So you're not going to be able to acquire an object, really. I mean, I guess.
guess my question is, is every single bedroom taken? Yes. tower here. It's not going to house very many people, but it'll house a couple. that. I'm going to say this bedroom go 
goes to Melville. Melville to Dork. Something. Yes. Making a bunch of crafts and stuff like that, right? It's interesting to me that they picked this area to dance in. You have this huge dance area over here. Whatever. Um, a baby. Paper maker's giving birth to a boy. Not floor, David. I know having doors on a corner like this is a little weird, but I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. I know I could just put one there and save myself a door, but... So it's telling me I don't have any teeth to work with, huh? Looks like I have plenty of bone, but... Boyer's been taken by mood. Lovely. Oh, I have plenty of 
bone, but I haven't uh, I haven't got any queued up. That's the problem. All right, bone crafts. Let's do another hundred. I don't think we have any more horn though. Another. Working furiously with two tunnel tube logs and cushion cut tourmalines. Kib, she lives a fast paced life and is slow to anger, has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others. She does not easily hate or develop negative feelings. She could be considered rude and often feels envious of others. She is often nervous. She tends to form formally tenuous emotional bonds with others and prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible. She likes to brawl, occasionally overindulges, and is quite comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture. She can handle stress. She tends to be passive in discussion. She bites her nails when she's nervous. She gets easily distracted during conversations when she's annoyed. You might actually... You know what, Kip? You're going into the military. You are going to be our new... Um, militia captain. A thin tunnel tube glow blowgun. Uh, dustix kazol, dustix All right. Kib. Do we have milk? No. Do we have cheese? So many random things up here. Right, I was gonna make a um, stockpile for weapons and stuff like that. I haven't bothered to do that yet. much sense to put it up here. This might just be a temporary stockpile. I don't know. We'll see. Weapons, not trap components. Armor made of metal and not other material. And we can go down to here and say this stockpile. Armor not made of metal and uh, no, no weapons, but do allow trap components. Alright, well, we have done some serious stuff today, made some progress, we still have a lot of bedrooms to make, we got, like, we're still, we, I mean, we actually got rid of our, our 
really upset dwarf. Oh, we should finish actually looking at this uh, new blowgun. Uh, boar Covens is a thin tunnel tube blowgun worth 7,800. It is encrusted with square cut pink tourmalines. Object is adorned with hanging rings of tunnel tube and menaces with spikes of tunnel tube. And actually, let's go down to our new um, tavern here. We'll put a display case right here and we'll throw the the, the uh, woohoo! We'll throw the uh, blowguns in there. And we'll make a second squad. And we'll see how it goes. I landed. That never happens. Look at them dance. Shoot, did we run out of nice? We must have run out of nice. Alright. Well, luckily, I know I just need to go one more layer down, and I was planning on going down anyway. So, let's do that real quick. some nice to work with. Posed a ban. Why are you upset? Didn't they give you a bronze throne? Did it just get placed? Right there, buddy. I'm confused. That's his bedroom. Has a bronze throne in it. What gives? All right, I don't know. Anyways, we made some good progress. We now have a lion, a leopard, and a bobcat. I mean, I, I call that a win. Um, we have a lot to do still. A lot to do. Definitely some quality of life things for our dwarves. Um, made a second tavern here. Up here we uh, made a extremely bare bones throne room for our new baron. Um, Apparently we've been breeding pigs, and that's fine. We have a lot of, of fowl that just love to hang out in the hospital. We have our doctor's guild, we have a ranger's guild, kinda. Uh, and we have a uh, Krastorf guild. Yeah. So we've definitely been making some progress. Some progress, we still, I mean, knock on wood. We haven't had any deaths yet. Now, granted, we've only had the one Cyclops. Oh, I suppose we had a turkey die of old age. All right, but here we are, early spring of 11. And uh, yeah, let's say goodbye to Dragon Age for now. And uh, hopefully we'll be back to it next weekend, maybe. Anyways, thanks everybody for hanging out today. Appreciate you.